Hey everyone, and welcome back to Cruising with Matthew. In this video, I'm going to give you a ship tour of Ponant's luxury expedition ship, Le Bello, which I was lucky enough to travel on during a one night press trip sailing from London to Honfleur in May 2022. So I really hope you enjoy exploring this unique ship. Before I start, I want to highlight today's sponsor, which is My Kind of Cruise. They are the world's first and only mobile app where you can search, compare and book a cruise across a range of cruise lines. I've actually booked with them for two cruises in 2023 on board P&O's Britannia and Iona. I was super impressed with their high standards of customer services and good prices. So if you want to check them out yourselves, then click on the link in the description below. Now on with the video. Labello is the fifth Imponence Explorer class of ships being delivered in 2020. This class of ship is designed to explore the most isolated areas of the world whilst offering a luxurious experience on board. And in my opinion, Labello certainly achieves that. Named after the French naval officer and Arctic explorer, Joseph René Bello, she's the smallest ship I've ever sailed on, weighing in at under 10,000 gross tons with a passenger capacity of just 184 passengers and 110 crew. Due to her smaller size, La Bello can dock in places that larger ships simply can't, allowing her to visit far-flung destinations or dock right in the centre of cities for instance, we embarked La Bello while she was docked next to the HMS Belfast in London and we got to sail under Tower Bridge, which was an experience I'll never forget. So without further ado, let's take a look around. On the lowest passenger deck, Deck 3, if we move to the front of the ship, you'll find the theatre, offering you the chance to enjoy a range of concerts and performances. There's also the opportunity to listen to various lecturers, which allows you to learn more about the destinations that you're visiting. Although quite small in comparison to other ships, it's perfectly formed for the size of Labello, and trust me, those seats were so, so comfy. Moving further midships on deck three, you encounter Labello's small atrium. Here, there are a few places to sit down, as well as a nearby shop, if you fancy a spot of retail therapy. Adjacent is the excursions desk, where you can book trips arranged by Ponant themselves. Nearby, there's the reception desk, so if you have any cruise-related queries, then this is the place to go. Now, from here, at certain times, you can access Deck Zero, which holds the most unique feature on board Labello, Blue Eye. This is described as a multi-sensory lounge and features things such as LED screens, which project images of the sea right up onto the walls around you. You can also listen to the sound of the surrounding ocean as you sail through, as Labello has hydrophones, which pick up sounds within a three mile radius and feed it back into the lounge. This incredible space is actually below the waterline and has a window which looks out into the water. Now, granted, you couldn't see all that much in the English Channel, but I imagine when Labello is exploring more exotic destinations, you'd have the chance to see a massive range of wildlife right at your seat. This is available on any of the Explorer class of Pollant ships, so I'd urge you to try and visit here at least once during your cruise. Now, if we tear ourselves away from Blue Eye and move back up to Deck 3, you'll encounter the Grand Salon, this is a bright and airy space, filled with a variety of comfy seats and has lots of windows as well, enabling you to watch the world pass by as you relax in this space. The Grand Salon has a well-stocked bar here as well and will serve a variety of hot and cold drinks throughout the day, including some fabulous cocktails, which I just had to try on board, you know, for research purposes. A large portion of these drinks are included within your fare, although you will have to pay extra for those high-end brands. Now, occasionally, the Grand Salon will hold musical performances by the various musicians on board the ship, although occasionally, local performers will come on board from the various ports you visit and you get to listen to their styles of music as well, which I think is a great idea. 
Stepping outside, you'll find the grill, which offers an alternative alfresco dining option if the weather is suitable. There's also a bar nearby too, so you'll never be too far away from your favourite drink. Turning around, there is Labello's aft pool deck, which has to be one of my favourite features on board. There's a large amount of space around the pool for you to sit back and relax on those comfy sun loungers. Personally, I really enjoyed these corner sofa areas right at the back of the ship, which gives you the chance to enjoy some fabulous wake views. Now the real star of this deck has to be that gorgeous infinity pool, which I imagine would be the perfect place to cool off in sunnier climes. Although sadly, I didn't have enough time to swim whilst I was on board. Behind the pool is this marina area. This is something I haven't seen before, but it's designed with Labello's Expedition Cruisers in mind. This area houses a platform which can be adjusted to allow for an easier embarkation or disembarkation from her onboard zodiacs. Alternatively, it can be lowered down to allow guests in sunnier climes to go swimming directly off the aft of the ship or enjoy water sports such as paddleboarding, which I think is really cool. Moving up to deck 4, we find Labello's restaurant, La Nautilus. Like the Grand Salon, it was elegant yet simple in design, with a large number of windows to let in lots of natural light. A great feature is that you could even sit outside if the weather's warm enough as well. Breakfast is buffet style, although you can order a selection of items such as omelettes which will be served straight to your table. The same can be said for lunch, although you can choose a specified starter, main and dessert which is based off a particular theme of the day. As for dinner, you get to enjoy a four course meal and this was a real highlight to this visit. Simply put, the food was some of the best I've ever eaten, with the dishes being perfectly cooked and exquisitely presented. Enjoying things like lobster, caviar and truffle really brought home the fact that I was enjoying a meal that would rival most of the top restaurants on land. Yet, what I really liked was the fact that the food was never overly rich or heavy, so you were ready to go about and enjoy your evening activities. Everything about this meal felt unhurried and attentive, but carried out in a discreet and unstuffy manner, so I felt completely at ease. It was an incredible experience to eat here, so I'm sure you'll enjoy every meal in La Nautilus. Now the remainder of decks 4 and 5 consist entirely of cabins, so let's jump up to deck 6. Now our cabin, number 601, was on this deck, it was a deluxe suite and was a stunning place to stay in, even if it was just for the night. If you want to know more, then keep an eye out for a full cabin tour, which I'll upload in the next few weeks. Midships, there's a variety of ship services. This includes the photo gallery, should you want to purchase any photos taken by Labello's professional photographers. There's also an art gallery, if you want to purchase any art on board too. I did enjoy this little alcove where you had a comfy sofa and a games console to keep gamers at any age occupied. Now moving to the forward section of deck 6, there's Jules Vernet Observation Lounge. This offers some incredible views over the front of Labello and I found it a really cosy and comfortable space. It also has a small library and on selected evenings this area is also the site of some live entertainment as well. Stepping out of the observation lounge there's also a wonderful open area of deck space which looks right over the front of the ship. If I was sailing to more remote destinations I imagine I would spend a lot of time here as you got full panoramic views in the direction of where the ship is sailing. Now, if we move up to deck 7, the forward section of this deck is occupied by Zodiacs, which enables passengers to visit remote and isolated destinations which don't have any form of pier. The rest of this deck is regarded as the wellness area. This includes a small gym featuring a number of treadmills. Nearby, there's also an inclusive sauna as well. A real highlight to this space is the fact that you have a fantastic view out to sea, so I imagine this is a great space to relax and unwind. 
There's also an extensive spa area which is partnered with Clarins, offering a range of massages and treatments. There's also a hair salon partnered with L'Oreal Paris, so if you fancy a bit of pampering, then this is the place to go. Livello is a ship unlike any other that I've sailed on before, allowing you to explore the roads less travelled in complete luxury. Although she may lack the larger facilities found on your typical cruise ships, this is a small price to pay for the fantastic destinations you visit whilst on board. A key example for this was the fact that even during our short cruise, we were able to sail under the iconic Tower Bridge and navigate past the various famous London landmarks as we made our way into the English Channel. This was a true bucket list moment for me and is something I will never ever forget. So if you're lucky enough to sail on Labello or one of her sister ships, I'm sure you're going to have a fantastic time. A massive thank you to Podont for giving me the opportunity to cruise on this fantastic ship. And thanks to My Kind of Cruise for sponsoring me. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like and subscribe as it's much appreciated. If you want to know more about Cruising with Matthew, then check out my social media channels. The links are in the description below. I hope you're all doing well at the moment and I can't wait to see you in my next video. So until next time, this is Cruising with Matthew and thank you so much for watching.